Hi guys, Gareth the Video Tribe here, and in this video I wanted to do an in-depth review of a tool called LearnWorlds. Now, I've literally just decided to move from Thinkific across to LearnWorlds because of some of the powerful features it has inside. Now, Thinkific is a great tool, and I had tried eight tools before this, but my complaint was always that these tools were designed by marketers and all the marketing features came first, and the membership systems were just a bit of an afterthought. They really just delivered content, but gave you no analytics or no student tools like examinations, quizzes, progress tracking and analytics to be able to improve the completion rates of your students. And most niches out there actually only have a course completion rate of about 5 to 12%, which is incredibly bad. So any tools that help us improve the student experience and bring up completion rates mean that those people are more likely to get the results that you want and also buy future courses from you. So LearnWorlds really is a platform from what I've seen so far that is an all-in-one school. It's almost like creating your own Udemy where you can literally have everything in one place, create multiple courses, subscriptions, bundles, have your community in there so you don't need to worry about Facebook groups anymore, as well as having your blog, your website, your marketing pages, all of your courses, all of your video hosting, and everything in one place so you can start to build your own e-learning platform. So it's an incredibly powerful tool and that's why I'm going to be moving forward with it. If you're just someone that is looking to just host a small mini course and you aren't really too worried about creating a better experience for your students, you're more worried about the marketing side, then possibly at this stage, then LearnWorlds is perhaps not for you and maybe you want to try tools like ClickFunnels to get started. But I really see LearnWorlds as the future of online schools because you want to build a platform, not just sell an online course. So with that said, let's jump on my computer, start going through World Learn Worlds, and I'll show you all of the different advanced features inside, as well as demonstrating my own members area and how I've set things up and how you can set them up to get better results for your online school business. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is create your free 30-day trial inside of LearnWorlds. Now, I will put a link in the description to where you can get a 30-day free trial, but I'll also create a free tutorial video of how to get started with LearnWorlds because when I first started, I found it all a little bit overwhelming and I found the onboarding videos were not great. So I don't want the same thing to happen to you. So that tutorial video will show you step-by-step step how to get started once you start your free trial. You can literally select any of these packages. The difference is minimal. Now, the small package is probably the most different one because this has a $5 per course sale that's actually added on. So you will pay $5 per course sale to Learn Worlds. Now, if you're just getting started and your course is over $100, maybe you think, okay, I don't really mind paying $5 and I just wanna be paying $24 a month and that's absolutely fine for me. There are also some other limitations such as no affiliate management. Also, it doesn't really have the interactive school elements as much such as file assignments and the, also the interactive video feature does not work. So you will be missing a lot of the advanced school features that make this tool great. So for most of us, we'll probably be doing the pro trainer or above to be able to get started. So I'm personally doing the pro trainer to begin with. And once inside, that basically gives me all of the features I need to be able to get started, grow my school. And when I'm ready, I can upgrade to the learning center, which is much more advanced than most of us probably need when we're starting out. Now, once inside, you're going to see a dashboard much like this that has all of the different things happening in your school. It has the event logs, it has news, it shows you what's going on on the different blogs, both for Learn Worlds and yourself. It shows you at a glance all of the things happening inside of your school, and you can check out different filters along here, as well as previewing your school and website at the top here. As you can see, I'm in the trial period because we're still building out the school and adding and editing the website itself. Now, as you can see down the side here, you've got the courses area where you can add courses. You've got your builder area where you can add and edit your website as well as any landing pages that you have or sales pages. You can see your users at a glance here, which when you get started, isn't really gonna have anything. You can have your marketing pages here, which we're gonna go through all of these in detail in just a moment, which is all the different marketing features such as affiliate marketing, capturing leads, and all the different information there. They have the mobile app, which is a brand new feature, which we're gonna get into very soon. They also have the report center, which is more detailed analytics for you to be able to drill down into each course and see exactly what's going on in your school and with your students. And then all your different settings, such as integration, your community and everything else. So with that said, let's go into the courses side here so that I can show you what I've done so far and what you can do to be able to get started. 
So what you're going to do, you could create an online course just by clicking this. I'm going to go into Course Manager to show you some of the courses that I've already created and uploaded into the area. So I've created three courses to be able to show you how they look and everything else. So if I click on one of these, once inside, you see you've got layout, contents, access, pricing, settings, course player, video library, and dashboard. So we start at the end here with dashboard. This will show me all of the analytics for this particular course. So I can see at a glance exactly what's happening just in this course, rather than the dashboard that showed me a general overview of all of the different courses, bundles, and subscriptions inside. Now you've then got the video library. And what I love is that I can upload all of my videos for my courses inside of Learn Worlds, which automatically saves you on having to pay for tools like Vimeo, which I used to do for other tools before. So they play lightning fast and they have all of the advanced features that we're going to get into very soon. Once you've added those videos, you can edit your course player. Now, most course players out there are quite limited in the different designs. They have multiple designs for you to choose from. I've gone with the classic view here, which we can quickly have a look at. And you can see that it has the sort of standard, almost, almost Ude Udemy kind of look about it. It's kind of similar to many other tools out there, but these are the best ones for getting people to complete online schools. The ones that have all of the different features down the side. You can have quizzes, you can have discussions, so people can automatically ask questions which go into the community. And you can also add additional features to show the different learners here so the students can communicate with each other as well. And these are all broken down into different areas and different sections which are going to be all your different modules containing everything such as ebooks and everything else inside. So if I just quickly go back now, once you've selected that, you can do a number of different uh, settings for your, your course player. We then go into the general settings of the course itself, such as adding author, author name, the graphics, the title, the description. We can then go across the pricing where we can set the pricing if there's going to be a discount. We could also create a bundle and we can add all of these courses to a subscription as well. Access, we can set as paid, draft, coming soon, enrollment closed if you've got a course that opens sometimes or doesn't, as well as changing your public URL for people to be able to find this as well. You can do the drip feed settings and you can set this course to expire after a certain number of weeks if you wanted, as well as different things to for navigation and everything else inside. The content side, this is where you're going to actually build out your course. And what you want to do first is actually upload any videos that you have so that you can then add them here as well. And you remember we were talking about interactive videos. Well, this is where I'm going to show you the interactive videos, which is a really, really powerful feature inside of Video Tribe, which really takes it to another level. I haven't seen any other tool that actually has this. So if I click on this, you're going to see that we have the video here and I can actually edit a number of things inside of the video. I can add text. I can add images, I can add interactive elements such as buttons, I can add a table of contents, I can add thumbnails to the video itself, I can add subtitles, and they also do transcripting services for you as well. You get a free amount of transcripting each and every month with your subscription. I can add watermarks, I can change the player's skin for the design to match my website, and I can also check out the video stats itself to see how much of the video people are watching, so I can see if there's any drop-off anything that I need to improve inside that video. So you're able to improve your course all the time to get better results for your students. You can then also add a list of added elements. We have your list of added elements here. That's more for you to be able to see what's inside the video itself. So you could quickly add interactive elements. Let me just add a button here. And then this I can actually move to, to have a set amount of when this actually appears. Or I can click on this and I can actually edit it to make it start at a particular time and finish at, at a particular time. So I could also change all the design of it, the color of it, the way it looks, the text, the size of the text. I can add interactive elements. So on click, it goes to a particular place or pauses it. I can also show a sound that when people click it, it actually makes a noise. So they notice the element when it appears. So this is a great way to get people to take action inside of your videos. But you've also got many other interactive elements inside here such as offers, 
questions so you can always build quizzes inside the videos which is incredibly powerful to drive interaction because when people watch videos they often lose a bit of concentration this is where seeing the video stats is very powerful so you're going to be able to see if people are dropping off and maybe you could add some interactive elements rather than re-recording the video to be able to get them more engaged and to keep them watching the video and learning as they're going through Next, we want to go into the site builder, and this is where you're going to edit all of your different pages. So you're going to be able to edit your school. As you can see, I've already got a template in here that I've edited, and it's all the type of sections and columns editing. So it's not a free form builder. It's very similar to tools like ClickFunnels and most of the other page builders out there, but the pages are load lightning quickly, which I really love. They load much faster than the likes of ClickFunnels. And you can actually edit your toolbar at the top to be able to change all of these to be able to decide what you actively want people to be able to see. So I can say, okay, I want the start button and then I could decide where I want it to go to. I can have courses on there. I can have access to my community. You have so many powerful features for the navigation itself, such as adding your blog, apps, so many different things inside. Then coming down, it's very straightforward to be able to edit any of these elements. You've got the drop down here at the side and you can add different actions inside. All very straightforward. Again, I'll put a more training below in the description showing you exactly how to use these to be able to get started. But what I really love is that you're able to change all of these different elements and sections very, very quickly and very, very easily. So I can just come up here and I can select a different layout or add a new section. So if I was to come here and go add section, I've literally got all of these different pre-made sections and templates for me. So you can build out a page very, very quickly. Now, chances are you've already selected a template when you get started and you can just edit that. But if you wanted to delete that and add new sections, it's very, very easy. And many of these sections, if you already have images on there, are gonna pre-populate with different designs. So if I add this one here, I can go into here and change any of them very quickly and it's just gonna update based on the content that is here. So if I added an image and some text, it will automatically populate that image and that text based on the different design I have here. So if I just go test, and then I come up here and I decide to change to this, you will see that that text did not change, but the design of this did. So it's all very straightforward to build everything out here. You can also come in and change all of the different parts that you've got from your SEO, adding custom page code, um, editing all your different sections and naming them as you would expect. You can change your entire theme here, all the different colors, typography, all of the buttons. So if I wanted to come in here and change the overall color of my theme, I could do that here as well. And that will change and update all of your website, all of your course area, everything else. I can then do all the, the site navigation custom code. We've got the pop-ups here. Now, a key part of the marketing is going to be your pop-ups -up, pop here. They're very powerful on the pop-ups. They have many different features from catching emails to having notifications about countdown timers, offers going on, and all of the different marketing sides. So the, most of the key marketing inside of this tool is going to be from the pop-ups. You can then have a look on terms of desktop and phone mode, so you can actually see if the changes you're making actually look good and actually work on different devices. And once you're happy, you could then save that and then go to a different page to be able to change all of your different pages. So when you do select, as I said before, when you do select a template, it's gonna pre-populate all of the different pages here, and you can obviously delete any of those pages or make changes as you get started. It's just good to work from a template to be able to get started. You'll also see inside that you've got the option to add all your favicom, custom code, your site favorites are where you're gonna be able to edit and create a new school. So in site favorite flavors, I can come in here, I can create as I've been testing with a couple of different school designs, and then you can activate it if you then want to switch to a different school design. So you're not stuck on the template that you started with at the start, you can actually edit them here to be able to change across to those at any point. You can set up your blog, Again, as I said, the pop-ups, you can manage them from the site here. You can create your custom domain, but you would need to upgrade first to be able to do that. And then you could also edit your sign up. So when someone signs up to your school, you can decide what's going to show on that. And then you can also edit your navigation here as well. You've then got the users in the side here as well. So this is going to show you all of the different active users, your instructors, your affiliates. You can filter by those paying, those not paying, those suspended, those active this week those that signed up this week. And then we have the marketing tools at the side here, which are going to be your bundles, your subscriptions, where you can create coupons. 
leads from your pages that you can track inside of here. You've then also got your affiliate management side that you can set up if you want other people to sell your course, which is obviously very powerful. And you can manage all of that inside of here as well as the payments. We then have the mobile app feature, which is brand new. So I don't know a huge amount about this, but what I do know is you would have to pay to be able to launch this. So this is an additional course to be a cost to be able to launch a mobile app. But what I have seen after going through it is that I can see that it's much more powerful than the likes of say mighty networks, which claim that they, you can create your own app, but generally you can't. If you've got a subscription, the app itself will just be a general mighty networks app. And it doesn't really, it's not unique to you. Any, they can have as many different members apps and courses inside of there from different people. If you wanted your own app, they would charge you about $32,000 a month. So that relationship with them did not last long as you can imagine, but here, they only charge you about $100 per month or $169 per month for both iOS apps and Android apps to be able to have your own white label app inside of those for your course, which will then look amazing. You can have all of your blogs and websites and everything inside there, but you can also have all of their different courses inside. So you've got a complete bespoke app for your school that people can work from, which is a massive, Plus, and that, that cost is absolutely amazing. So the good thing about this platform is that they've just got 32 millions worth of funding and they're going to be growing at an exponential rate over the next few months. So there's gonna be lots more features added and I think you can see that Learn World will probably be overtaking many other platforms if there is any platforms better than them out there. You've then got your report center where you can go through and you can see all of the different progress from your students, break it down into sections, see your course insights, schedule reports, check the grades and certificates of your students, assignments, create your question banks for your quizzes and also your exams. And then you can also see your sales, product revenue, instructors revenue, cancel sales and event logs. If we then go into the settings, there is one last great feature that I want to show you. So there's loads of features that we can actually still go through here, such as integrations, where you can actually link your email marketing tools and other third-party tools inside. What I would say is that a bit of a con inside, uh, inside is that currently they only have a few integrations with different email marketing tools. The rest you would have to link using Zapier, but I'm sure they're gonna add more as they grow moving forward but you've then got the learning apps here and it's the community part here that I absolutely love. Now, I haven't done anything to this, but if I preview it, what you're going to see is a very Facebook style, simple, easy to use social media community that you're gonna be able to use to grow a community, to generate a real good vibe inside of your members area where people can ask questions, they can motivate each other, you can create groups in here or even allow other people to create groups. Then you can add posts, polls, mentions, people can show, share their wins. You also have the option to have all of the different gamification side where people actually get the they get awards based on how much they're completing courses, how the results they're getting, how much they're engaging inside the community. So these are all great features to motivate people to complete the courses. And these are some of the powerful features that I was talking about before when I was talking about having better tools to get your students to complete your courses and get better completion rates. Because it's gonna allow you to make more money, but it's also gonna get your, your students the results that they want. Now that's a complete overview of this system. I really do see it as the best tool out there for anybody that is looking to create a online school platform. It's got everything that you need. A few cons might be that, okay, you still need an email marketing tool. It's not a complete all-in-one platform, but it has literally everything else inside. Another con might be that it really doesn't have a huge amount of marketing pages. It is more of a one-click upsell or a lead capture type of funnel. So it doesn't have the advanced funnel features of the likes of ClickFunnels, but for most course creators out there, capturing an email or actually just going straight to your school is going to be more than enough for you to be able to generate sales. So I think the features they've got in there are more than enough for any 
any school to be able to grow at a great rate of knots. But they're also going to be adding a lot more features moving forward. Now, if you've got any questions regarding Learn Worlds, then obviously please ask in the comments and I'll happily answer those for you. And if you would like the free trial and also to be able to do that walkthrough to take you through the onboarding process to be able to get your course area set up, then just click the link in the description and you'll be able to watch that and work your way through to get started really, really quickly. Now, if you found value in that video, please hit the like button as that helps grow our channel. And otherwise, I will see you inside the next training video. Thanks for watching.